Uh, I think this guy is going bye bye. <laughs> Check this out. Boom, boom, boom. Well, have fun doing the dishes tonight. I'll be sitting back on the couch. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? This has been one of the best days I've had in a long time. First, Laura surprised me by picking me up from school. Then we got ice cream. Then we tried on the silliest outfits we could find at a resale store. Then we ate at a fancy restaurant. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Oh, I had such a great time with you. I love spending time with you. <laughs> Jasmine, show them the vintage t-shirt we found, the one that was your favorite. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> can you tell these guys about the conversation we had about clothes? Yeah. Clothes can make you feel good on the outside, but it's what's on the inside that really matters. That's so true. Some of the best dressed people can also be some of the most selfish. Clothes don't really make you good or bad. What matters is your heart attitude toward God. I'm glad we know that, but there's a lot of people throughout history who didn't know that God wanted us to love Him. For over 1,000 years, God had worked with one specific group of people, the family of Abraham, to bless the world. It was their job to tell everyone what God was like. Jesus was born from Abraham's family line, even though he is also God's son. He came to earth and died for our sins. Then he rose again and returned to heaven. Because of Jesus, our sins, the wrong things we do, can't be forgiven. We can have a relationship with God. How do people around the world get to know God's plan? Through the church. God's church has been sharing God's love ever since the first church started and hasn't stopped since. God chose a man named Paul, he was one of Jesus' apostles, to tell a group of people who weren't in Abraham's family the mystery of God's plan. Christ is in you. He is your hope of glory. So they realized that anyone could believe in Jesus and his spirit would live inside them? Yes. Everyone who receives Jesus becomes linked together with him. Then they become the glory of Jesus. Glory of Jesus. What does that mean? When God the Father looks at the followers of Jesus, he sees the glory and majesty of our King Jesus in them. It's like Jesus gives us his glory for us to wear. When God the Father sees us, he sees Jesus' glory in us. Does Jesus give his glory to everyone who receives him? Yes, and that's why we call the message of, of Jesus the good news. And another thing that Jesus gives us is the Holy Spirit to live inside every believer. So that's what it means to carry the presence of God with us. I heard that at church. It means that believers have God the Holy Spirit with them. That is amazing news, but it's also something that's very important that changes our lives. Because Jesus has given us so much, it is very important to be very responsible with those gifts. Jasmine, could you please read these verses? You've been raised up with Christ, so think about things that are in heaven. Heaven is God's space where he exercised complete authority. The Apostle Paul says that is where Christ is. He is sitting at God's right hand. Think about things that are in heaven. Do not only think about things that are on earth. For those whose lives have been changed by Jesus, the Bible explains it is as if we believers have already died with Jesus and have risen from there with him. The wrong things in our lives are gone for good, and they are now the glory of Jesus. Now, isn't it true that one day Jesus will appear to everyone with his glory? Then everyone will know that Jesus is King and Lord. Yes, that's when God will be fair to judge every right and wrong thing that has been done. As God's people, we are transformed, completely changed, even now. Jasmine, read this verse right here. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud, be gentle and patient. Instead of choosing to do things our own way and wearing sin and selfishness, we must clothe ourselves with mercy and kindness, for we must imitate Jesus, for we really are the glory of Jesus. Part of living God's forgiveness is that we must forgive one another and live at peace with each other. Jasmine, just one more. Read this here. Put on love. Love holds them all together perfectly as if they were one. Showing God's love means we seek the absolute best for everyone around us, even if it means setting aside our own needs and desires. That's the love that honors God. We don't have to try to get even with those who hurt us or try to win every single argument. Instead, we can be certain that God will treat people fair, including us. Because when we put our faith in Christ, God helps us love and forgive others.